Hey, K1, welcome back to FIED day two for the week. Let's talk about our activity today, jump rope routine number two. Before you get started, make sure you have your jump rope. If you can't find a jump rope, grab an old piece of rope. If you don't have an old piece of rope, just use an imaginary rope. No big deal. It works perfectly. Remember to find a space that you can jump rope without hitting anything or anyone. Ask your family to help you find a safe place. And always look before you jump. Mr. Amundsen made an amazing follow along workout video. That's option one when you're on the site. Option number two, we added a PDF again that tells you exactly which jumps to perform and how many times or how long to perform it. On day one, on Tuesday, we went over jump rope basics, so I'm not going to spend too much time here. Uh, if you need a little practice in this area, obviously take as much time as you need. But you know the starting position is rope behind you, elbows in, hands out, and then we always turn with our hands. Little safety tip here for you, a little reminder. When you need the rope behind you, just step over it. It works really well. It's very simple and it's safe. If you need to practice your big turns without a jump, go ahead and pause the video, uh, this video right here, and then go ahead and practice for as long as you'd like. If you want to practice the toe catch, go ahead and do so. Uh, it's a great way to get ready to start jumping rope. The baby jump reminds you that you don't need to jump super duper high when you're jumping rope. Again, pause the video, practice for as long as you need to, and then go ahead and press play, and you can continue to watch. Now, in our exercise video, Mr. Amundsen started out with the basic jump. It's a great way to get you started, get your rhythm down. So you remember the basic jump has two different options. We have the single bounce and the double bounce. Do we don't care which one you do which one you do so if you're a single bouncer go ahead and use that one if you're a double bouncer double bounce away Jogger the jogger that's our first new jump if you notice here in the video uh, Our demonstrator is going kind of slow so you can see it But if you're if you're an amazing jump roper like mr. Amundsen, you're gonna do this a little bit faster and it almost looks like you're jogging. So go ahead and pick a speed that makes sense for you. If you are struggling with this, don't get frustrated. Go ahead and switch to a jump that you already know how to do. Or put the rope down and use an imaginary rope to do the jogger. Now the rocker jump is one of my favorites. Uh, it is a little bit more challenging for some students. And this is the one where you just keep one foot in the front the entire time and the other foot in the back so give it a shot see how it goes if it's if it's one of those jumps that it's just too tough for you go back to a jump you already know how to do or again put the rope down use an imaginary rope and have some fun the forward straddle or the scissor jump this is one where you're switching which foot is in the front so on one turn of the rope your left foot will be in the front and then on the next turn it'll be your right foot so again a little bit more complicated jump a little bit more challenging but have fun with it see how it goes and then if you need to put the rope down use an imaginary rope or you can always just pick a, a jump you already know how to do Just a reminder, check out Mr. Amundsen's amazing workout video, press play, complete the activity, and you're done. Or use the document we have there on the website. Let me show you where they are. You can jump over here to our website, find your grade level, which is K1. Click on it. There's your activity page. Scroll to the bottom, and there is that amazing follow-along video Mr. Amundsen made for all of you. 
And here is the PDF workout that you can simply use as well. So let's jump back over here. Fluffy was so excited to see all of the pictures and videos that everyone shared on Tuesday. We're hoping to get receive more this week. Please take a picture or a video and email it to Mr. Amundsen or I, Mr. Egan, and we will show Fluffy. Have fun, stay active, don't get frustrated if some of these jumps are too challenging. Pick a jump you know how to do or use an imaginary rope. We miss everybody. Hope to see you soon.